Okay, I'm going to replace the insides of my Woodford Model 17 outdoor faucet. Start by removing the handle screw, which is in the center of the handle. Takes a regular flat blade screwdriver, then pull off the handle. Next, remove the packing nut. Then remove the packing material that's inside using a smaller flat blade screwdriver. Then put the handle back on and turn counterclockwise until it loosens up. Then you can pull the rod straight out. And you can see the rubber material on the inside at the end of the rod is completely destroyed. That's why my faucet was leaking at the handle. Okay, next clean the rest of the crud out. Then go to your instructions. Shows you how to build your new rod. Take off the washer from the old rod and you're going to put that on the new rod. Find the size that matches. Okay, get your end piece. And then you can see the size that matches. Uh, the pipe has a red end. And it should show to line up on the first hole. And you can see that here. Line those holes up. And then the kit also came with steel clips. So you're gonna put a steel clip in the hole. And it's really tight, so you may need some assistance to snap that on there. the rest of the pieces that you're going to need is the new packing material which that is too thick so I had to use 50 grain sandpaper to make it thinner that's the new packing nut handle screw and new handle so back at the faucet Insert the rod until it goes all the way to the back. And I've got that new washer on, or the old washer on the new rod. Make sure you push that in as far as it'll go. And this is a comparison of the thickness between the old packing material and the new. So after sanding it down, put the packing material in, then put on the packing nut, tighten that down with an adjustable wrench, put on the new handle, tighten down the center screw. Make sure the water is turned off at the handle, then go in the house, turn on the water. And you can see I'm still leaking behind the packing nut, behind the handle. So I'm gonna tighten that packing nut again. And then on a final test, I have no leakage behind the handle. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.